Hi there, beautiful people. Welcome and thank you for stopping by my channel, Tasty Bites by Kim. Here you will find your dose of beautiful and delicious Caribbean dishes. Now let's start cooking. Here we have sopa de marisco or seafood soup. Our fresh ingredients are garlic, onion, corn, carrots, potato, pumpkin, culantro, and plantain. Okay. Our spices are lemon, pepper, adobo, oregano, chicken seasoning, sazon, cumin, and tomato paste. This sopa de marisco or seafood soup typically comes from the Spanish-speaking islands, such as Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Cuba. Okay, so we have our soup pot. We brought some water to a boil, and now we're going to add in our vegetables. Okay, so now we're just gonna give that a quick stir. And look how beautiful those that color combination is. And we're gonna let it boil. Before we let it boil, we're gonna add some tomato paste. This is the amount that I used. Okay, we're gonna add that in there and give it a little stir. And then we're going to add some ground oregano. That's the amount. Some ground cumin. Here I'm adding my chicken seasoning, some adobo. I'm not measuring, but I am showing you the amount or the estimate that I'm using. Remember, you're always cooking to your taste and to your preference. I'm gonna add some black pepper. and a packet of sasson. Now we add the tomato paste because it helps bring and combine, it kind of like holds the flavor of the spices and seasonings. And yeah, it kind of like brings it all together within the tomato paste. So here we're going to add the plantain, the corn, the onions, and the garlic. Um, after it's been boiling for maybe about 25 minutes, we add in the fresh, the, the rest of the fresh produce. And here I did not show it, but I also added in the culantro. Okay. This is the second to last step before we add in our seafood. Okay. I just love the way how all the fresh produce and vegetables look together. And you just know when you use fresh ingredients, it's just going to come out amazing. Okay, so here are the seed food pieces. We have 
Uh, this mix had mussels, shrimps, crab meat, calamari rings, and baby octopus. I had to take my kitchen scissors and cut the octopus into smaller pieces, but here we are adding it to the soup. Now, I had also forgot to um, show that I had seasoned, I had cleaned, make sure you clean your seafood because you don't want sand in it, but I had also seasoned my seafood with the lemon pepper. If you'd like, you could definitely use fresh lemon, but the lemon pepper um, brings out like that fresh seafood flavor, so it's really good. So here we are, I'm stirring in and admiring the beautiful soup that I am making and that I hope you make too. You can see the little octopus pieces, the little... <laughs> if you enjoy seafood, you would definitely love this soup, okay? So we're just gonna let that boil for about 10, 15 to 20 minutes. I'm sorry, I'm bad with time. I just cook. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get better with measurements and timing. So, for the finale, and as a thank you for watching, to the end, I'll serve a plate just for you. <laughs> Look how beautiful the soup came out. And it definitely looks as good as it tastes really <laughs> like just gonna let you enjoy the soup for a moment Caldo. We call the broth caldo. A plate just for you to show my gratitude. Remember to always cook with love. Please like, share, or save this video and let me know if you try it. Thank you again. Please subscribe if you want some more beautiful, delicious Caribbean dishes. Stay blessed and I'll catch you on my next one.